At the Co-op Cafe, we have three main goals. Advance our thinking, build shared understanding, and create alignment at our co-ops and among co-ops. These goals exist in three layers. During the session, at our individual co-ops, and among co-ops regionally and nationally. Our theme for this session is Thriving in the New Competitive Landscape. We use the World Cafe format to focus on two powerful questions. For this session, the questions were, what does it mean to successfully compete in the marketplace? And, imagine that we're heading off on a journey into a future that includes co-ops thriving in a competitive marketplace. On our journey, what should we take? What should we leave behind? We asked the small groups to distill the conversations they've been having down to just a few words. A person from each group shares their work. Here's a sampling. So we had uh, take and two leaves. We're going to take our listening skills and focus on good process like today. We're going to leave any barriers to participation. And we're going to leave behind closed-mindedness and judgmentalism. We're going to take co-op values. We're going to take commitment to co-op advantage. We're going to leave behind grandiosity, superiority, and self-righteousness. We're going to take innovation and creativity, cooperative values, and product vigilance. We're going to leave perception of exclusivity, fear of change, and fear of growth. We're going to take uh, our authenticity. Um, we're also going to take our innovative collaboration. Um, and we're going to leave behind the preconceived notions uh, about co-ops. We are going to uh, take with us our support of local food production by identifying gaps and finding solutions. We're going to leave behind moral superiority and cynicism about growth. And we are going to leave behind uh, volunteer involvement in in-store operations. We're going to leave behind fear and take courage. Leave yesterday's sensibility and take tomorrow's vision. Leave complacency leave complacency and take hashtag disruptive innovation okay we're going to take an environment that fosters creativity also a roadmap a compass and a vision and we're going to take community that is built on real relationships and we're going to leave any resistance to change old processes and exclusivity all right let's take engagement with stakeholders across the spectrum Let's take openness and commitment to change, and let's leave behind self-righteousness and self-limiting beliefs. We're going to take uh, the concept and practice that vendors are our partners. We're going to take uh, serving the demographic, but with continuous innovation and improvement. And we're going to leave behind elitism. We're going to take respectful, inviting, and inquisitive behavior. We're also going to take investment in local positive change. And we're going to leave behind resistance to change and moral superior su superiority and winter. Cooperative values, principles, and ideals. We're going to take operational experience in governance, innovation, good labor practices, and confidence. We are going to leave behind fear of change, of the unknown, of success, of competition, of failure, of big is bad. Uh, we're going to take on embracing change and possibilities, breaking the mold. Uh, take on engaged and committed ownership. And we're going to let go of the patchouli oil. Uh, we're going to leave corporate debt, leave exclusivity, leave fear. And we're going to take banking locally, transparency, education, diversity, passion, and curiosity. We are taking our values. We are taking our compelling history and story. We're leaving behind resistance to change and fear of competition. And we're taking snacks. We're going to leave fear of growth and change. We're going to bring commitment to healthy community and local economy. And we're going to bring our brains, creativity, passion, and innovation. OK, we're going to take the bigger we are, the better we can fulfill our ends and our mission. And we're going to take commitment to the highest level of professionalism for running a grocery store, a cooperative grocery store. And we're going to leave any sense of embarrassment that, embarrassment that part of who we are is a profit-driven business. We are going to bring with us 
an environment that is welcoming, inviting, and inclusive. We are going to nourish partnerships to foster a strong local economic hub, and we are going to keep education a priority amidst our everyday demands. We're going to take leading the community in food education. We're going to take investing in the infrastructure of local food production and processing. And we also would like to leave behind the air of elitism. We are going to take the willingness to embrace authentic innovation. We're going to take a commitment to affirming the cooperative principles. And we're going to take the idea that we are in the relationship business. I, we're going to take the relationship and communication between its com our communities and its local providers. We're going to leave resistance to change, and we are going to take. Um, we are going to ensure millennials have a vital part of our co-ops and their futures. We're going to bring with us better communication between our local suppliers and the co-op. We're going to leave behind the status quo, and we're going to bring with us a vision for the future. All right, we had a lot. So we're going to take with us our values, our creativity, our enthusiasm, our heads and our hearts, our community, and technology, and also snacks. <laughs> um, we're going to leave fear, fear of change, growth, competition. We're going to leave behind the public misconceptions of what customer service means to co-ops and the employees and how they are. And we're going to take, we're going to leave uh, old and outdated ideas and habits. We are taking with us values with a capital V rather than value with a small v. We're leaving resistance to scale, or stated otherwise, size doesn't matter. And we're, taking, we're leaving elitism and funkiness. We're going to leave the fear of resistance to change. We want to bring our listening ears with open minds, and we want to take the commitment to all of our communities. We're going to discard the thinking that the old ways are the best ways. We're going to keep the flexibility to reflect the community. And we're going to keep innovating new resources to support the local food economy. We're going to take our values to new markets. We're going to leave behind the concept of inherent uniqueness and be open to change. And we're going to leave behind the fear of making quick strategic decisions. Okay, we're going to toss behind us exclusivity and elitism, fear of change, and the status quo, but we're going to bring with us commitment to co-op values, our passionate story, and thoughtful communication. We are going to leave behind the insufficient business models and practices. We are going to bring along inclusivity through diversity and we are also taking our firm foundations of fostering strong relationships between co-op and community.